Licensed games are, more often than not, mediocre cash grabs. I'm solo, I'm Han Solo. And Nickelodeon games are no exception to the rule. Over the years, there have been dozens of games based on popular Nicktoon series, most of them being decent to not great, with SpongeBob and his undying popularity at the forefront. In fact, most years since 2003, SpongeBob has had some type of game release. However, one game has stood above the rest as a beloved platformer, and that game is Battle for Bikini Bottom. In 2018, THQ Nordic announced that they were looking to bring back a number of Nickelodeon properties, including SpongeBob, Rugrats, Fairly Odd Parents, and more. Since then, we've really only gotten one single Nickelodeon game, and that was a remaster of Battle for Bikini Bottom. Until now, enter SpongeBob SquarePants The Cosmic Shake, the spiritual successor to Battle for Bikini Bottom, which is also developed by Purple Lamp Studios, who worked on the remaster. The Cosmic Shake follows SpongeBob and friends through Wish Worlds, packed to the gills, pun not intended, with show references and familiar faces. But will it live up to the first game? Only one way to find out. And be sure to subscribe or have your houses ingested by nematodes. Oh, nematodes. You know, it's kind of crazy that I haven't played a single SpongeBob game on my channel yet, considering that SpongeBob is about 50% of my DNA. And I've been looking forward to this game since it was announced. So uh, I'm, I'm really excited right now. Oh, looks like we're off to Glove World. All right, wait, is it time already to ruin the Squid's Day? See, this is what I'm talking about. No, no, no. This is going to be peak content for you guys. Oh, he's painting all bold and brash. I'm going to point out everything that I notice, and this is going to be me on overdrive. So just be prepared for it. All right, let's go to Patrick's house. Good morning, best friend. Are you ready for a glovely adventure? Glovely. Uh, Patrick Gnome. Oh, he's got his glove on too! All night pretending I had hands. Two hours later. They made the loading screen the time cards? My editor doesn't even have to do it now. Oh, you guys don't look like you had very much fun at Glove World. Look, Patrick. Cool kids. Ooh. Gen Zers. I wish I could do cool things. This wagon just ominously appeared out of nowhere. Who cares? Yeah, something's mm. going on. Nah, uh, still not cool enough. Huh? What? What is this? Oh, it's oh, the cosmic shake. Is. What? This old piece of magic and mystery. Yeah, Allow drink that. It's myself. Windex and food My coloring. Name is Madame Cassandra, purveyor of long lost treasures of the seven seas for those on a budget. I also don't know if any of these characters, like if Madame Cassandra, is a recurring character because. Say with this unique bubble maker thingy, you can become whoever you want to be, receive whatever you want to have, just bubble your wish into the heavens. All right, give me the potion. I'll drink it. 47 seconds later. I wish. No. I wish. No. Oh, is it? I wish. Oh, it's bubble solution. Okay. My first wish is on behalf of my very best friend who loves balloons. I wish for Patrick to have the biggest balloonist adventure of his life. <laughs> it's a giraffe. <laughs> Is it too much to ask for just one day of peace and quiet? How am I supposed to paint my newest masterpiece with you two clowns? That's technically the spiritual successor to Old Bold and Brash. I wish that Squidward will finally be appreciated for his art. What are you two up to? Wait for it. I wish for the whole world to see how amazing Sandy is. Nifty bubble! <laughs> Three hours later. Dude's just going crazy with bubbles. All right, so my prediction is everything pops. They're all magical. He rips open the universe. Innocent heart may harness the power of the mermaid tears. I guess it means I was destined to find this bubble soap. Hey, wait. It also says property of King Neptune. Not for use by mortals. Use oh, it's God soap. Oh crap! Oh no! Oh, oh oh god! They're all dead. What what is going on? Oh, there we go. All right, bye, Mr. Krabs. Nope. Oh, guess that's that. Oh no, Patrick! What have we done? Oh look at Patrick! He's a little balloon. 
<laughs> Look at him! A magic potion from a mysterious fortune teller in a sketchy wagon could backfire. Yes, it was utterly unforeseeable. SpongeBob bought the bubble soap from that cash only mermaid. You know, like the cash only taco joints. I wish. If I were a balloon, I'd be able to do cool stuff like this! Here's the thing. I guess Viacom is really, like, leaning into Spongebob memes now. I mean, they've been doing it for a little while, but, uh, they've become too self-aware. They need to be stopped. I gotta get to the Krusty Krab. I don't know what we're collecting or what it counts to. Oh, okay. So that's where the garbage went. And we just got... We can, Oh, we can glide with the Krusty Krab pizza. Breath of the Wild, who? No. Oh no, it's gone! The brave people of Bikini Bottom eat now, and without Mr. Krabs, who will help You heathens! What have you done? Wants? I need to fix this. Well, who are these guys? Unless they're just hungry patrons. I'm too smart to end like this. All right, we'll go save Plankton, I guess. Oh, I can dodge. Watch this. I have four underpants, though. I don't ever see myself dying. Cellular idiots. Thanks to you, all of Bikini Bottom is sunk into chaos. My restaurant is tipped over, and our poor little spot is missing. You could have at least involved me. Oh, no. Sorry, Plankton. We'll make things right again. Oh, she's back. Yeah, hi. I have a question. What the f***? She has two different color eyes. One's pink and one's green. She's got the Cosmo and Wanda eyes. Were there any good Fairly Odd Parents games that came out? I, I feel like there were some, but I don't know if they were actually good. I miss my Care Bear! Oh, yeah, where's Gary in all this? This is just too perfect. That's not just any jelly, SpongeBob. Cosmic it's jelly. Cosmic jelly. The glue of reality. So we're, we're gathering pieces of reality? Of blown holes through the universe, squeezing the jelly out and sucking your friends into new and strange worlds. That was going to be my first guess. You have to bring me as much of it as you can gather so I can study it and um, help reverse the mess you've created. Yeah, that's it. That's what I'm totally going to do. There's no way I'm going to use that cosmic jelly for my own selfish gain later in the story. Makes sense to me. Uh, no questions here. No, we're not even going to question it. We're just going to do it. Jump into the portals that opened up all over town. I can use some of the jelly to tailor cosmic costumes for you. Yeah, I pre-ordered the game, so uh, there should already be some cosmic costumes already tailored. More portals we can pass. Are you ready? Say the thing. Say the thing. I'm ready. You said on. the thing. Let's save Bikini Bottom from the unintended yet devastating consequences of our own actions. Oh, we get to be a cowboy first. <laughs> All right. What kind of costumes do we have? Because I think I have a few to start. So we have regular SpongeBob. Wacky child? Why not just call him like Glove World SpongeBob? We have Cowboy. Oh, these are the special DLC ones. Purple Sponge. That looks kind of cool, actually. We have the Band Geeks uniform. Of course, we're going to use that. Opposite Day. Dried Sponge. There's actually some really good references here. Robo Bob, Mermaid Bob, Primitive Bob. This is actually really cool for people that are fans of the show. Let's go with Opposite Day. All right. I guess this is the first level. One of our friends will be on the other side of this portal. So I don't know who we're saving first, but I'm Squidward, I'm Squidward. Oh, I tried to jump in and look cool. I'm Squidward, 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 I'm Squidward, I'm Squidward. But that's not the costume that I'm wearing. All right, giddy up. We snaw. Oh, I didn't realize we were gonna be thrown right into a, into a vehicle level. Can I tackle him here? Can I jump? Can I do anything? What is going on? I gotta find Mr. Krabs. What is the the seahorse's name again? I genuinely forgot. Oh, sorry, partner. I'm looking for my pal, Mr. Krabs. About yay high, red, likes money. Crab problem, eh? I reckon you're gonna want to talk to the sheriff in Manta Fe. I feel like I'm playing, like, an episode of the show, and I don't know how newer episodes are, because I am very adamantly, uh, for the stance that the show should have ended after the movie. I mean, a couple episodes in season four, were, like, the first half of season four was good. Then after that, it was like, uh, this should have ended. Well, the second movie was good, too. Didn't see the third movie, though. I think I planned on it, and then it got delayed. 
Oh, man, Faye, this way. What is it, SpongeBob? What do you see? Water? Soda? Is soda water? What do you see? Purple lamp really did a great Water job with this. So small. We'll never fit in there. It, it goes to show that given enough time that a studio can be competent with popular IPs. Very, very far away. Here comes Mrs. Puff. It's Mrs. Puff. If anyone knows where Mr. Krabs is, it's her. Because they're lovers. There. She probably doesn't know us here, even though she knows us back home. Here we have to get to know her first. She don't know you here, little bro. Hope she sees this. L plus ratio. Get all the jelly. Just give it a week until people are speedrunning this game. They're doing like cartwheels through jellyfish fields. Not a solid glide. You got to be really careful with it. It's not like a. It's not a, a foolproof mechanic for me to make sure I don't die. Uh oh. Oh, Mr. Krabs is wanted in this universe. Let's see. The red-handed bandit. I lock away your riches. He can't help it. All right, new mechanic. The bubble button. So this is basically, I think, exactly like Battle for Bikini Bottom. If not, he's got uh, similar mechanics in Nick All-Star Brawl. Whoa, was that Mrs. Puff? Oh, What's hit a checkpoint. Okay. Mm, I love ranch. Hey, How Mrs. Puff, remember me? You came here by foot? She doesn't That's because so uh, she seems kind of happy to, to meet SpongeBob. We're looking for our friend, Mr. Krabs, but he might not be called Mr. Krabs. He could be traveling under a different name. A crab without a name, huh? Try Manta Fay. It's where everyone without something ends up. Could you give us a ride there? If you take my test, you Oh no, Mrs. Yourself. Puff, you have no idea what you're getting yourself into. This could very well be the, the universe that SpongeBob gets his license. Alright, let's try our best. We gotta jump and we gotta boost. These are Ocarina of Time rules. Or actually the uh the jumping in that game is automatic. It's more like Crash Bandicoot. Ah, we're bad in this universe too. Alright, we did it. I'll take my license now. Do I, do I get it now or do I have to pick oh it up at the DMV? You have six points. How many do I need to pass? <laughs> Out of seven. <laughs> oh, damn. Only one point away from passing. Yay. Oh, can we repeat the test? It was some... Oh, no. That's not necessary. I, I didn't know you had fun. Fun is worth an extra point. Oh, my God. It's Here's happening. license. Thanks, partner. It, it's not canon, though, but we finally got it. Oh, license. <laughs> oh, crap. And that was the last we saw of Mrs. Puff. All right, where's that sheriff at? We gotta find the sheriff. This town ain't big enough for the two of us. All right, let's kick the door in. Hello, two apple juices, please. Oh, sheriff Sandy. It's the sheriff. Now look what the snail dragged in. Uh, Patrick, get down. She's armed. But you got the bite. Oh, don't bite. Too unsanitary. I'm looking for my friend, Mr. Krabs. Have you seen him? If you can take me, I might look into your case. Oh, I guess Dylan, Sandy's the first boss fight. Get yourself a straw partner and make sure it zips straight. We're going to have ourselves a nice little cactus soda showdown. You're going down faster than a baby at nap time. Jelly bandits! Oh, so that's what they're called. Jelly bandits. You ain't getting this jelly. You can get these hands instead. Ow. Oh, crap. All right. I lost an underwear. Yo, there's so many of them. Can you guys leave me alone? All right, we did it. We saved the bar. Let's see what you're really made of. Grab your straw. Oh, crap. Oh, I didn't realize we were chugging drinks here. Grab that. Okay, that's two. SpongeBob's like, this ain't shit. You should have seen me in the salty spittoon. All right, that's the, let's uh, do costume change real fast. Let's see, let's go with, uh, I'm gonna go with the band geeks, SpongeBob. Uh-oh, looks like it wants to do Oh, he's got the cactus juice. Oh, look, he's in the bubble. Oh, he only got two health. Stupid weakling. Maybe that kind of Ooh, it's Mr. Krabs. Can point us in the right direction. Hi, he's got a mustache. Sir, I'm SpongeBob SquarePants. Hey, cowboy. Uh, sorry, uh, you don't ring any bells. But I couldn't help but overhear you talking about entering the cactus beverage business. That demands a strong spine. During the cactus uh, juice prohibition era. To guide you. 
for a wee share of, um, 70%, I'll tell you where to find the cacti with the most refreshing sap. 70%? That sounds a bit fishy. Did I say 70? I meant, um, 80. Now we're talking. All right, let's get the cacti. Oh, we got two health. That's actually kind of broken of a combo. All right, here's the cactus plant. Go ahead and milk that or whatever the hell we're doing to it. So, yeah, we we, we killed it. That's dead now. I'm collecting all these because I have a feeling I'm going to need them later. I don't want to backtrack. I mean, I could see myself needing them to, uh, to unlock more levels. So, better to get them now. So, I know, like, there was a, an article a while ago saying that THQ Nordic was looking to remaster a bunch of older Nickelodeon games, and then, like, we really never heard anything other than Battle for Bikini Bottom. So, I'm curious to know what games you guys would like to see remastered. I mean, personally, I, I want some Rugrats games. Like, give me the first Rugrats game, please. And thank you. But mostly, please. You did it, Spongeboy me, Bob. One cactus juice, fresh from the manure Ooh, fields, your sporkiness. I'm actually way too good at this game. Gonna beat the entire game without getting a single game over. Ooh, hello. Oh, he's gonna spit them out. He be spawning them jelly bandits. I got, I gotta defeat the source. He's got my fry cook hat on. One more, one, one more, one more. Ow! Right, he's dead now. You're dead. You can leave me alone. All right, I'm back, uh, guy who's totally not Mr. Krabs. A familiar-looking stranger. Just drop the juice in this here barrel for uh, <laughs> safekeeping. All right, let's go ahead and funnel this juice. One barrel down. Follow that trail, my little saps. How many barrel? Wait, wait a second. How many barrels we gotta fill up? Well, the uh, the pillars rising from the ground are an indication that we gotta get more. All right, let's get this juice, specifically this cactus juice. What are these uh, big boys that are rolling down? Gordo looking ass. I like how they're just kind of like boulders, but. Oh God, oh God. That was close. All right, that's one. Okay, so I see where the, uh, oh God. I see where they're falling. You just gotta look for the cracks in the floor. It's so, look how sad it gets. It just slumps over. It's like you took all my juice. Now I must die. Yeah, this should be the last of it, right? I don't know how much Mr. Krabs needs, but the rules of video games say that we should be good because I did this three times. Okay, there's a huge horde of enemies here. This has to be it. This thing reminds me of something out of Ah Real Monsters. I don't know, maybe it's like the blue lips. He kind of looks like Crumb a little bit, even though Crumb is not just a giant gelatinous monster. Another really good show that I'm kind of happy they brought back for Nick All-Star Brawl. I wish they would just reboot it. They're stealing our soda supplies. Oh, we, we need more, apparently. All right, let's we gotta perform a train heist now. May I? He's like, oh, good, you have a license. Of course you may. All right, let's, let's follow this thing. Get the Krabby Patty. I missed it. We apparently operate on Krabby Patties here. W what are they throwing? Is that hot cactus juice? It, it looks like lava. All right, that's enough jelly. We have plenty of jelly. Make the jump. All right, now time to cut the head of this train off. I mean, um, stop it. Mr. Krabs, we're on the same side, dude. I was only giving you 90% of the company. Now you got me feeling like Avalanche during a train ID check. Catch Mr. Krabs. Can't even run that fast. Oh, oh God. Oh no, what an obstacle. How will I ever get past them? Oh no, so difficult. Oh God. Uh, okay, so I did die. I wasn't expecting to be able to be knocked over the railing. That's some BS. All right, I got you cornered. Ain't nowhere to go, but on the tracks. You're going to jail. You gotta take me back. I beg you. How does he slip his hands out? Sorry, Sheriff. I'm taking this one in. I'm taking this one in. Poof! Gone. Stop drinking so much cactus soda on the job. All right, back to reality. The Krusty Krab is saved. Well, the building's gone. Oh, me boy -o. That sure taught me a valuable lesson. That it's not all about money? What? No, no, oh, no, 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 no. It's always, it's about, always money. about money. It's always about money. All right, let's change it up a little bit. Let's go with, uh, let's be Mermaid Man Bob. In honor of the late Mermaid Man. We gotta go talk to Cassandra now to get to the I next world. Help. Sheldon's pride would never allow him to ask, but your mischief tipped over the chum bucket, and we need you to stand it back up. Oh, I put on my superhero costume. This is perfect. Excuse me. 
There are more important things than knocked over trash cans. Holy shit. She didn't have to do that to him. All right, hang on. Let me let me help Plankton real fast. Just a, just a quick side mission before I have to go save my next homie. We're going to go bubble surfing. All right, so I don't think we have much time on it. This is Bubble Buddy's surfboard. He's my friend. This is first time on his own. Okay, there we go. We fixed the chum bucket. Never been in here before, and it's old man Jenkins. Crib is gone. I guess I have no choice. Does this place offer anything edible? Uh, no. All right, let's go to Cassandra. So much pure, unadulterated jelly. So much raw power. Two. Create your next costume. She's gonna be the final boss, isn't she? Got a very strong feeling about that. Oh, what? Hang on. I got my karate gear on. So our next world is probably karate themed. All right, here we go. Travel to the new world, whatever it may be. Oh, I think this is just a Yakuza game now. All right, so we got to a red carpet. A movie premiere? Is it a kung fu movie? You would think with this stump here, after playing tons of Mario games, your first instinct is ground pound it. Wait a second. Ew, wait, what the hell is that poster? Is this a universe where Squidward is famous? I totally would have expected someone bigger for the part, but everyone seems small to me. Film is in one minute and 58 seconds. Uh, no, 57, uh, script down. Oh, movie's starting. Better get to our seats. Wait, what is this poster? A love story? He looks visibly ill. It's like that new Brendan Fraser movie, The Whale. What is happening? This is a no-go zone. The stars get cranky without their me time. I'm going. It's a go zone for me. Let me in. I guess I'll have to just go around. Oh, go. Okay, those explode. Oh, can't go this way. Guess I'll have to just wink, wink, go home. This level kind of gives me the same vibes that I got from that one level in A Hat in Time. So at this point in time, I have not gone back to A Hat in Time. I played the Switch version. That's probably what ruined it for me. But I picked it up on PC. And sometime this year, I'm going to give it a go again. See the handsome Squidward? Oh, what are you? Why are you carrying a bathtub? Here's Fred, the my leg guy. I think, or maybe he just looks like him. Say it. Oh, wait, look, instead of having all reliable, I just do like a spinning chop. I was gonna say, if I'm gonna wear the karate outfit, I better not be using a, a jellyfish net. All that just opened the door. Mr. Director, where are you? Here he is. Squid Van Hammerschmidt. What squirt of an actor did those at the Whoa, end whoa! Upon me? E, you I kiss your mother with that, that mouth? Part. It's I funny, because we've been hero. using that to now censor we'll these videos. Marshmallow. So when I hear it, I feel like it's more mine than theirs now. In the scene, you must fight your way through gang-infested city streets. And don't walk out of frame. Easy. I was made for this. And action. Oh, is it a side-scroller? Oh, it's an auto-scroller. All right, I gotta keep up. Wait, I kinda like this. I changed it up a little bit. Do I have to kill them all? I mean, the objective is defeat the enemies. I just need to make sure I have to kill all of them. And like, if one runs off frame, do I lose? Oh God, oh, 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 I guess we're going this way. Yo, chill! We're gonna just slow down for a second. It's gonna push me out of frame. I gotta be careful. Working with some real divas. Oh God! I can't believe the dude just yeeted me out of frame. I gotta stay close. There we go. Excuse me, out of my way. He's out here killing civilians now. This is improv. I don't know if it's part of the, the script. Go, oh, oh god. Okay, so it doesn't look like I have to kill everybody. Got a lot of pictures of Sandy everywhere, but where's Sandy? Oh, you're tired, huh? I'll work on that stamina. I better have top billing on this movie. I swear. If I wanted to see a wimp run around, I'd be directing Wimp Racer 2, like my agent told me to. It's where the money is, Squidward. That's why it got a sequel. Let's I like how he wants to direct a, a karate film, though. A karate kick. Oh, I, I get some new stuff here. We get some jump attacks. We can we can jump kick now. I guess we can only use it where it's applicable. I can't just like, or can I do it to enemies if enemies are nearby? Let's find out. It de definitely seems like a platforming element. We got like Sonic's light dash. Okay, we can kick enemies in the face. Or we can even dash to them. <laughs> okay, th this makes it a lot more fun. Oh, you guys don't stand a chance now. I learned how to use my feet. One. Go no, 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 no. Really Thank you, Patrick. Appreciate it. Who are these guys? <laughs> They're just like, you know those mad balls? Like the squeezy mad balls? You know what I'm talking about, right? 
Oh, I was taking damage there. Okay. Only one left. Die! He's gonna blow up. Alright, that's a wrap on the movie. Let's get the hell out of here. Hey, short yellow and spongy! Hey, can I get a can I get some liquid death in my trailer, please? There's a lot of paparazzi hiding on this set who wish to smear the director's reputation by capturing... Do I get to beat the shit out of the paparazzi? Project. It would be real cool if you could distract them with some of your fancy moves. I will make myself extra picturesque. What the f... <laughs> what the hell? Dude, what the hell was that? All right, hang on, let me... That's the SpongeBob equivalent of Handsome Squidward. All right, let me find the hidden paparazzi. Yeah, I see you. Oh, they're doing the meme thing. Okay, all right, here, get your fill. Oh, should I should I be doing more? Oh, I'm I'm pressing Y and not X like an idiot. They've become too self-aware. I think you got to be pretty soulless to be a paparazzi. There's not many jobs in the world where I feel like you just you're a real pos if you take. I think paparazzi is one of them. Just Leave these people alone. Go take pictures of Spider-Man. Last one. Oh, he's hiding. Is there a doubloon in there? Victory Screech! <laughs> Rescue the trapped citizens? With my ass. Okay, we're on the clock here. I don't know if you have a trapped citizen necessarily. You don't. How many are there? Six. Okay. I got you, fine citizen. You're safe now. to my genius, your performance has become... Tolerable. Thank you. I think I'm up now for an go award. Ahead and strike some heroic karate poses for the press. Show yourself to the press. Hello, Hello press. <laughs> it's in slow motion. <laughs> Get my good side. Just spelling out karate and balloons. Look at him go. In the prime of his career. He's so graceful. All right, so it's very clear and apparent that Sandy's the main villain, right? She's nowhere to be found. This is a karate movie. Who's this? Is this one of the paparazzi? Now I have to save them? I like how they're also playing the Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy theme. Save the paparazzi, fine. This one time. Jeez, man. Watch me swinging that thing. Not you. You're safe, fine citizen. Uh, I think. Yep, there's still- oh, there's one trap behind here. Look at this idiot. He's like, what was I supposed to be doing again? Like a little leaguer in right field. Thanks! I thought this film would be a train wreck, but the director went all out. Those jelly extras were very convincingly beating me up. Oh. <laughs> I love that they did the, the paintings for this. They really tried to make it like an episode. And his choice for the villain? Wow! I just caught a glimpse. That's a wild animal if ever I've seen Would you one. say a wild squirrel? Oh, she's wearing her Kill Bill outfit. Or Bruce Lee. Ooh, look, it's Sandy. I don't know which one it is. Oh, look, Sandy. Well, if that ain't the sponge they call Bob and his biggest Dallas balloonatic partner Patrick stepping through my door. Actually, we came in through the roof. Is that right? Well, you'll be leaving through the floor. Damn. I mean Six mood, feet under, huh? My mood is karate. Nobody mm. watches a film for the dialogue. My like, just throw hands already. Colors and motion converging into visual conflict. We need crash, boom, bang. Not yap, yap, yap. Now throw out the stupid script. There's a script? And action. Throw out the script and start fighting. Defeat Sandy. I've done that before. What it? She's got a wheel? Yeah. All right, come here. Ow, but this is just like the the boss fight in Sparks of Hope. Oh, maybe kick her. There we go. We must defeat her with the kicks. Oh, coward! Calling in the reinforcements, huh? It's very unlike Sandy. All right, where's that wheel at? Oh, some different. Oh God, it has spikes. Ow! Do I have to? Nope, that's not what I have to do. Oh, there we go. Oh, God! Right over here. This this should be the last one. She's got, like, one more on her health bar. There we go. It's actually a pretty SpongeBob, legit poster. SpongeBob, SpongeBob. They love me. They really love me. <laughs> SpongeBob, SpongeBob! Did that explosion give you a concussion? 
You remember to sign the waiver, right? I never thought you'd pull it off. But that was actually fantastic! I can already see the sequel. Nay, the trilogy. Let's start shooting immediately! As long as the next one doesn't come out in like 10 years like James Cameron, and we stay relevant. Although, I can't even hate because Avatar Way of the Water did like two billion dollars in revenue. Problem, Sandy, but there's still a lot to make right again. See you around. All right, we gotta go find Cassandra. Right, where's Cassandra? She's chilling over here. But it's covered in mysterious cosmic jelly stuff. Oh, it's, it's not even water, just cosmic jelly. That'd be weird to swim in. Imagine just filling a pool with jello and jumping in. This is a pit of slime. Cassandra, please help. We have to find my house. Without that, I'm just a common talking sponge. Sorry, Spongy. I'm just a little preoccupied fixing the fabric of the entire universe that you blew apart. Why don't you take this cosmic costume and enter the All right, the we're going to get a new costume now. We're going to have to put that on. Oh, we're going to be pirate, SpongeBob. Oh, uh, ew. What the hell, man? We're just Patchy the Pirate personified as SpongeBob right now. Pie? Oh, they're not homemade. They were made in a factory. A bomb factory. They're bombs. Okay, I think I'm over this costume now. I gotta get me some doubloons. All right, let's switch it up. I'm gonna be the purple sponge. This one's weird. Hey, look, I'm you. No, no, I'm your... I'm an ally. You'd think that, like, they would leave me alone now that I'm purple and blue. Ow! Okay, I'm not... You know what? I don't need to fight you. Dying for Pie might be a top five episode. It's such a great episode, too. Let's eat. Oops. Uh, ah, the Flying Dutchman. With the haunting memory. Ghostly ghost, ghost pirates. Oh, who am I kidding? I couldn't scare a baby right now. Without me ship, I'm just a pathetic ghost of my former self. That son of a kelpie Admiral Prawn has stolen me beloved ship. With a broccoli ahead. Never mind, it's just the Flying Dutchman. Oh, they got my pineapple! That fruit-stealing freebooter has taken this too far. All right, I'm gonna go bust his ass up. Mr. Dutchman, sir, you have to get your ship back so I can get my pineapple back. But Prawns, well, or me precious socks. All right, so phase one, let's go get him a new sock. All right, oh, we got, uh, we got an award. A pizza award. Where's my drink? Gotta get four socks. I don't know why he needs four. He's got only one little uh, Gee, swirly foot. Nobody needs a lifeguard. One sock. I didn't mention it in the first episode, but it is really great that they actually got Clancy to voice Mr. Krabs in this game because in Battle for Bikini Bottom, it sounded really off. SpongeBob, this flapping robot crisis is making the Krusty Krab lose money like a sinking ship. Is it blasphemy to say that I'm enjoying Cosmic Shake more than Battle for Bikini Bottom? Is that a hot take? I gotta slam our butt on that. I think I'm gonna go back and play the first game because it's funny enough, I recorded an episode of the game when it first came out, or when the remake first came out, and I just never uploaded it. So I've had it sitting on my PC since like 2019 it came out, I think, or was it 2020? And I had like a fun intro planned out too, where I kind of just masked myself into the painting from the SpongeBob intro. You guys will see it eventually. I don't know when, but it's gonna happen. There's a sock this way, according to that sign. There we go. That should be enough, right? He's only gonna wear one of them at a time, unless he's really lazy. He just doesn't want to do laundry, which I feel that, I feel that, man. You ever tempted to just buy more clothes because you don't want to wash clothes and fold them? Dry them, not in that order. As Rocco once said, laundry day is a very dangerous day. Half the time you lose socks and you end up with like mismatched pairs. Okay, knock it over. There we go. Where'd that sock at? Oh, what? What's that you say, comment section? It's a skill issue? Well, why don't you shut up? What the hell is this? There's another sock. Oh, this one's extra stinky. One sock to go. Don't worry, Dutchie. We'll keep that footsie warm. I don't know how people feel about this, but I'm happy that a lot of the games that I'm playing recently or interested in playing are shorter games. This game, only 40 bucks. You know, we'll probably be on sale relatively soon. And it's only like, I don't know, 
10 hours. I want to play Hi-Fi Rush, which is on Game Pass, but is generally like, I don't know, I think a $30 game. And it might also only be a few hours. I just, every game doesn't need to be a 100 hour RPG to get your money's worth. And I do realize that the price of games is going up because now Nintendo is charging $70 for Tears of the Kingdom, which if that thing has a single frame drop, there might be a riot. All right, got the last sock. Oh, there's Larry. Don't worry, Larry, I'm coming for you. <laughs> What's happening over here? Playing like badminton? Stop that. Ow, oh, you're the one slinging the bombs. Pies. Bomb-ass pies. Hey, Larry. Larry, it's me. All, all right. You're like, don't go near him. That's dinner. Price of lobsters through the roof now. Die! All right, I got you, Larry. Oh, you're free. I thought it was just me and the anchovies. We can talk about that later. What's important right now is getting you and the anchovies and my pineapple back. But to most importantly, my pineapple, because now I'm homeless. That obnoxious shrimp rounded us up. He said we're not pirate material. It isn't my fault I have a severe eye. I don't know if I uh, if I was getting a gang of pirates together, I think I would pick Larry. What? Oh God! Ew! <coughs> what happened to your eye? I'll send you back. Here you go. First class. We charge for luggage, though. We're the spirit airlines of bubble travel. Oh, hang on. We're getting some swing mechanics now. Oh, no. It's the hooks. Mr. Krabs warned me about these. Did he say you shouldn't climb on top of them and ride them like a horsey? All right. Now I gotta free the anchovies. The anchovies have had uh, quite the glow up since episode one of SpongeBob. Actually, maybe not. We're gonna go play hooky. Oh, crap. What are these guys? Uh, where's he going? They seem kind of cute. Do I, I have to fight him, don't I? Idiot. Where's the next anchovy? There he is. Oh, there's more over here. Twelve anchovies? They're just gonna eat the crusty crab out of house and home during the lunch rush. The, uh, the swing mechanic is a little odd. I feel like if you're gonna add it to a game, it needs to be, like, buttery smooth. Eleven. Is that last... I see him. I see him over there. And... Twelve. Like clockwork, my board shows up. Start hoisting socks. We're gonna fly the socks half-mast. Press X to hoist this sock. I, honestly, we probably just gotta air it out before we give it back to him, because, man, this thing stinks. All right, heave! Ho! Heave! Ho! Avashi! Pinzarosa! pirate captain, Pinzarosa! He rolled his R's. Impressive, I mean, Mr. Krabs. Who can haul, I mean, share. Me treasure. You'll first have to get it out of an old shipwreck. Lucky day indeed, Patrick. With that treasure, we can prove we're real pirates. We're gonna be pirates. Hey, hey, really? That's skipping. Pirates don't skip. Oh, what is this hoop? How to glide. Well, I know how to glide already. I was gonna give us a boost. Mario Kart rules. Time to find the treasure. What do you think the treasure is? Think it's another sock? I think it's old reliable. Another mermaid? What do you know about treasure? Uh, uh. <laughs> I love these paintings, or um, someone in the comments or multiple people said they're called gross-ups now. That's the official name for them. And uh, makes sense. Pardon me, miss. Why so glum? Uh, because I, like, totally lost my joy, and without it, I can't sing, which is, like, totally not cool for mermaids and stuff. With, like, nails on a chalkboard. Then maybe we could go on a dance date? Sure. Like, as a friend? Uh, I promised myself I'd never date a balloon again. Also, I'm, like, way more into dating pirates now, anyway. Oh, what a coincidence. Uh, oh, wait, let me put my pirate outfit balloon on. Balloon pirates. Make music. Orange, orange, blue. Red, green, orange. So I had asked the question on Twitter, but um, does anyone know if there's a way to factory reset your sense of humor? Because I just cackled like a hyena at a video of the Riddler ordering at McDonald's, and uh, that, that's about where I'm at right now. One time I asked for McChicken sauce packets, and they gave me three. I said, wow, three for free. And the nice, friendly McDonald's worker laughed and said, I'm going to call you three for free. You helped me, even though this was like totally not your problem. To show my gratitude, I will grant you like a wish or whatever. SpongeBob should just be a producer out here dropping bangers. I wish that SpongeBob and I could reach the treasure on the grounded ship so we could become like, you know, like, like totally date. Like have a safe flight, my melodic friends. I don't know why this kind of felt side questy, but I guess it was necessary. There we 
go. That was satisfying. There we go. Treasure! We did it! Hey, uh, Miss Mermaid, I'm back in my pirate gear. All right, next mission, I gotta find my pineapple. I gotta find my house. Huh, talk about a mobile home. No. I still can't believe they got rid of the whole Panty Raid episode. That's a great episode. I mean, I get why, because looking back, yeah, maybe it was a little problematic, but where's my house? Okay, 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 please, 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 that, that should have connected. Thank you. There might be a doubloon up here, and I really want some more costumes, so uh, I'm gonna look. I could have swore. Oh, there's one over there. Okay. I gotta do all this, and I will, because there's some cool costumes in this game. Am I gonna 100% the game? Probably not, but if I can find some, uh, some cool ones to get pretty easy, I'll do it. No! Patrick showing up like that bird in Mega Man that pulls you out of the, the pits. What is that bird's name? You make it happen, Captain. So wait, did I get a new costume? Oh, okay, I see. You unlock the tier, and then you can buy stuff. All right, buy that, 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 and that, and you know we're playing with the cuddly crab uniform on. Oh, I love it! Thank Neptune. How did you get here? Oh, how did Fred get here? Is he gonna say the thing? Magical bubbles, reckless wishing, tearing apart the very fabric of space and time. I won't bore you with the details. Just oh, good. These restraints are so tight. I can't feel my leg anymore. <laughs> he said it. This is it. Run, SpongeBob, run! It's funny how you have to, like, give yourself a wedgie to launch yourself. Are you real pirates yet? Nope, still got all of our limbs. Well, we do have a real treasure chest. Nope, we're gonna open it. More socks! The Dutchman Sock Treasure! The finest pirate I ever knew went by Jeff. All right, Admiral Prawn, I'm coming for you. What's the difference between prawn and shrimp? Is a prawn just a bigger shrimp? Man, there's a lot of floating ships. Bowser's gotta be somewhere nearby, huh? I do appreciate that some of the platforming elements are getting increasingly more difficult, especially now that I have- Yo, that wasn't fair. Especially now that I have uh, multiple different mechanics. Please, Patrick, please. Dude, just give it to me. Dude, he's like running away with it. We're Face plant. Back this ship, prawn. All right, time for a boss fight. Pineapple. Literally What's fighting the for the deed to our house boy. right now. Pining for something special. I will make you off the plank. It's a, it's a legitimate mustache. Oh God, pies everywhere. This is a sweet tooth haver's dream. Oh, that was easy. Oh, hang on, we're not done yet. Should really use the, the homing attack more. I'm not using it as much. Ouch. This this is it. This is schmovement. Doing like the Mario Odyssey thing. You got a butt bounce and then you jump. Homing attack. All right, time to fire the big cannon. Ooh, this is gonna be fun. Where's uh, where's the red bomb? Does he need to okay this? Who's full fireworks? I got you now, prawn. No crushing. <laughs> Can I have my house back now? Aw, home sweet pineapple. Let's get you back to Bikini Bottom, huh? Next stop, 124 Cox Street. Nope, oh, SpongeBob just doxed himself. All right, we out. Phew, my beautiful home is back. Home sweet pineapple. But it isn't home without Gary. Patrick, we have to find him. I couldn't help but over here you miss your little pet snail, Walter. Yeah, good old Walter. He was a good snail. Gary. Right, Gary. Well, with this cosmic costume, you should be able to enter the portal he was sucked into. Ooh, where are we going next? But watch out, honey. That snail of yours is in big... But we get to save Gary now. Trouble. <gasps> <laughs> Ooh, a pretty flower costume. We must be going to some gentle land of sunshine and kindness. Ooh, hang on a second. Are we at rock bottom? These creatures, Patrick, they're... Funny? No, scary. Cause oh, yeah, look at the wall. I think we might be in rock bottom. No, it's definitely a scary level. It's cold, it's moist, and it smells like the dumpster behind the chum bucket. Well, that sure sounds a lot like this puddle of ooze you're gross. Ew! It must be the remains no, Don't step the in that. That's radioactive. That yeah, no, here. this is rock we bottom. Have to hurry and find Gary. <laughs> 
<laughs> just like the show. This might be my favorite level yet. This one is cool. My only gripe with the game so far is there's not that many enemies. I feel like we're fighting the same enemies over and over again. Oh, here's some new ones. I mean, there's like, there's a handful of enemies. I, what the hell? What do I have to do here? I guess maybe like don't go in front of it. You like how I said there's not enough enemies as they just introduced one? What I was trying to say was I kind of wish there was just more than these cosmic jelly creatures. There's a doubloon. Oh, we got to do some stealth here? SpongeBob SquarePants, the Cosmic Shake is just a Metal Gear Solid game. Yeah, Fortnite wishes. This is like that one Mario Party minigame where you have to like get in the barrel and sneak past the chain chomp, which is one of the most horrifying games in existence. Had a boo scare. Wait, we gotta snip. We sneak up behind them, scare them, and they die. Boo! <laughs> I realize this is hilarious. Boo! I like how the icon is SpongeBob in his Halloween costume. Oh, that's not a hat. That's my brain. Oh. Ah! All right, we made it. Wherever we are. Oh, what kind of monster would abandon a candy bar like that? You know what? You're already a balloon. You might as well eat it. Without its wrapper. Oh, we have to find Gary before he shares that candy bar's fate. Shouldn't we help this candy find a warm and safe place? Like a candy Too bar bag my carrying candy bag? Bar bag? In my candy bar bag carrying bag. I guess I have to put it in my mouth instead. Something about this ooze seems very familiar. Yeah, it's what mm. made the Teenage Calcium. Mutant Ninja Turtles the Teenage With Mutant Ninja Turtles. Protein. And lots of love. That's not ooze, that's slime. Gary's slime. Ew. That, is a lot that means of Gary's slime probably huge. A... All right, just gotta follow the uh, the old mucus trail. Oh, hang on, I wanna, I wanna scare kill some of these enemies. Boom! <laughs> they just combust. You know the fainting goats that just like tip over when you scare them? There was a point in my life on the internet when I thought that was hilarious. Now I'm lying on the cold, hard Can I reach that? Yes! Two gold to blues. I'm in the middle of crucial organizing business for the snail cup. What is she supposed to if be? If you want to enter the race, you need to pay the participation fee of five candy bars. I got you, I got you. Five candy bars. So, uh, There's the snail race, which means we're we gonna have to go against Take Lightning Larry no. Luciano. I think that was his name. Right, what's in here? Gotta go door to door, find some candy bars, which means we're probably gonna see the chocolate bar salesman, or we're gonna see the guy who screams chocolate. I feel like there's a couple episodes that they would not pass up putting in this game, or at least references. I can't understand your, your accent. accent. Trick or treat. Here. Yeah. Have a candy bar. Thank you. You. Because I think in in a poll, and I could be wrong here, that uh, the most popular episodes were Band Geeks and Chocolate with Nuts. And rightfully so. Ooh, look at you. What a nice costume. How can I help you, young fellows? Some candy. chocolate, please. Candy, 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 candy. Oh, of course. Ew. What the f***? Wow, vintage! Thanks! That one counts though, right? Yep, that one counts. I've been trying to find chocolate for three days. Oh, There's it's, almost nothing it's him! Left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, a weird and very heavy rock crashed behind my house. Right on my chocolate shed. Maybe you can move it. Here, let me open the gate for He has you. a chocolate shed. Probably from all the chocolate he bought from us. Hey, get away from the chocolate shed. That's how Willy Wonka got his start. What, you think he just jumped right into the chocolate factory? You gotta start small. All right, that's gone. Patrick's house is back. Chocolate, chocolate, finally chocolate! He's doing the thing, he's doing it. All right, he, he gave us one. I just need one more, then we can go race. We gotta see the chocolate bar salesman. He's gotta be somewhere. He's gonna show up with his cast and stuff. There's gotta be someone here. If it's not him, I swear. No, it's not. Sweet Neptune, are you insane running around like this? Don't you know people have phobias? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know my costume He's wearing tinfoil on his head. What are you afraid of? Boxes, man, boxes. You never know what will be inside <laughs> or where they'll take you. And then, then you look just like one. I, I was going to oh, say, I am kind of a box. Sometimes boxes have good things in them, like Krabby Patties. Oh, yeah. I guess you're oh, right. True. You know what? Here's, Here's candy. candy. All right, Mrs. Puff, here I come. I'm ready to bet on some snails. 
Did you bring the participation fee, Candy? I sure did. We're nuts. Fancy. Now keep still. Yeah, give her the gross this one, too. This is going to hurt. Wait, what? Wait, what, what are you it's doing? What is going to hurt? You have to be a snail. Oh, she's going to inject us with the no. stuff? That was a creepy-ass episode. <laughs> yeah. Meow, 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 meow. Oh, I don't like this. Okay, had a snail mode. Wow, seems really exhilarating. I was gonna say they could have thrown an underwater level at us because I'm sure the physics would have been just this slow. They threw a slow-ass segment at us. Kind of like an underwater segment in a platformer. But then again, this entire game is underwater. We're doing it, snail mode. We might be the fastest snail in existence. Look at that, that's a world record. What, what's happening? What's going on here? Oh, they fused. Mini boss fight. Got to split him up. Split him and quit him. Okay, so I get maybe I was wrong about the enemies because each level is adding new ones. I think I just wanted enemies that were different. You guys know what I'm saying, right? I'm not being very eloquent right now. Is it bad that I kind of just want this level to end solely because I want to see what those costumes are so I can buy them? Even though this is my favorite level yet. I'm actually excited to see what the next couple levels are. There's, there's only a few left. It's a pretty short game. I mean, obviously, if you want to do everything 100%, it's going to take way longer. But, ah, we're sliding on the tongue. That's got to be A, painful, and B, uh, disgusting. Oh, my God. Man, I saw I saw a TikTok of some kid on the New York City subway, and he just licked the floor of the train. And why? The internet has made people dumber. While we have made technological breakthroughs, we have also devolved because now people feel the need to do things for clout. I don't know why. I, just Darwinism, I guess. Because that kid probably contracted a disease. In fact, I think I contracted something secondhand just by watching him do it. My Apple Watch is like, let's take a minute to reflect on today. I, I can't. I'm doing extreme sports right now. What's this? A giant museum? All right, we made it. Now that we're in a museum, we should just destroy everything, right? Hit, hit that. Oh, no. Oh, oh, God. Speaking of breaking things in a museum, one of my favorite John Mulaney bits is this story that he tells about some guy that goes to parties, blacks out, and then he steals, like, old family photos. And John Mulaney's like, why do you do that? And the answer is just so incredibly messed up. He's like, it's the one thing that you can't replace. Told you. Look at all those snails. Oh, here's Gary. Kidnapped. Look. And he's got a crown? And he's massive? He's like, sir, would you like another chocolate bar? Gary is the monster snail! Huh? They grow up so fast, don't they? These massive amounts of candy bars must have given him a sugar rush. We have to cut off his candy supply first. Yeah, we have to do that before we have to cut off his limbs. Because too much candy is diabetes. Can I get these? I can. It's like, stop it! He's eating so much candy, he's just barfing now. Go ahead and backwards long jump up the stairs for style points. Let me out. Die. You can't kill them. I can hide behind them. <laughs> uh, this is cool. The game does a good job at throwing different uh, mechanics at you to keep it. Oh, he's not going to like that. Throwing different mechanics at you to kind of keep things interesting and fresh. Stop throwing your, your goo at me. It's nasty, man. Oh, come on. No, no, no. Oh, that was close. That would have sucked to have to climb all the way back up because I got frozen. All right, next one. Let's get him to break that. That's the last one. He's like, no! My Milky Ways! It's me, Gary. Remember me? We're gonna get you home. We're gonna get you a nice can of snail bow. Gary's gonna bring that whole museum down. We have to get him out of here before we're all buried in the rubble. But Gary is still giant! Don't worry. I'm sure he'll go back to normal once we get him home. I sure hope you're right, Patrick. I've never been wrong about We're gonna just have a giant yet. snail in Bikini Bottom, because we're gonna send him back like this. Uh, yeah, maybe, uh, maybe we did. He's still a monster. But, uh, we, we saved some of these houses. Patrick's house is still a wreck, though. But it's an improvement. Look at him. Look at Big Gary over here. Oh, can't go near him. Oh, I still need one doubloon. That sucks. 
some reason, I thought, like, having three would have unlocked next tier. I was like, oh, I have to get two more. Nope, gotta get four. All right, time to head over to Patrick's house and clear out all of this, uh, this slime. My whole rock is covered in snail slime. <laughs> Wait, look at the snail just stuck to it. That's a skull. Anything you want to tell us, Patrick, before the cops come? Good news. I found that squiddy neighbor of yours. Oh, great. We're going uh, prehistoric now. Spongegar. Here we come, Squidward, old buddy, old pal. Petgar, oh, look, they gave him the costume. He's, uh, he's, <laughs> he's so cute. <laughs> Me in the bathroom in the morning making the same sounds. Very intellectual dialogue. Wait, hang on. Let me get out my Google Translator. Um, I, Oh, they're telling you that you should subscribe to this channel. All right, is there gonna be any actual dialogue in this or are we just gonna grunt the whole time? Oh, Squidward's clarinet. He never leaves without this thing. How to grand slam. Don't I already know how to do that? Yeah, but, oh, what the, what is that? That's definitely the most terrifying enemy that we've seen yet. Why does it have hands? Okay, I see what I have to do. They want me to... I, th I think I did it, yeah. Okay, die. You, you only have three health? You got real mini-boss energy. Get out from under there. This is how you beat uh, the giant Monty Mole in Super Mario Galaxy. You gotta force him out of the ground because he's a coward. Then you beat his ass. This game was such a nice treat. Just a nice short treat, which we need every now and then. There's a bunch of shorter games that I'm going to be playing. You know, in between the, uh, the massive length... Actually, I'm not really playing any lengthy games right now, but when I reboot Breath of the Wild, that's gonna be the, the one that's gonna take a while to get through. Not that it's gonna take a long time, you know, I'll probably do it in like four or five episodes, but, you know, going from that right into... Dude, I got hit stunned like crazy! I'm gonna go from that into Tears of the Kingdom, so... It's gonna be a lot of Zelda for two months. There he is! <laughs> get away from him. Actually, it might taste pretty good. Go ahead, as you were. Maybe it was last summer I had pretty good grilled squid. Save squid, best friends. Tamaga, work it quick. All right, let's move this boulder. It's not a boulder, it's a rock. A big, beautiful rock. Can I touch these guys? I didn't know if I was gonna get like thrown off. Can I even fall off? Like, what, what's the point of this? Who are you? Wake up! He's like, ouch. Let me snooze that for another 10 minutes. Uh, okay, maybe just leave him alone? Catch jellyfish to wake the Darudon. Maybe he doesn't want to be woken. He looks kind of tired. If I can't fall off this thing, there is no danger. It's three, okay, seven, eight. Stop with the tartar sauce. What is tartar sauce even made of? I'll be honest, I don't know if I like tartar sauce. I think I've tried it, but I can't, like, pin the taste right now. Oh, 15, got him. Wake up, Mr. Whale. Oh, great heavens! He was actually dead. We just had to, we had to jumpstart his heart. We legitimately just had to move his tail just a little bit. All right, time to go into this dark cave where absolutely nothing will harm us. Sorry, I said absolutely nothing will harm us. All right, watch out for all the rocks. Although SpongeBob can't feel pain, by bludgeoning at least, because uh, Flats was unable to beat him up. All right, big finish. Man, I haven't seen any doubloons. Where are the doubloons at? See, nothing. Didn't even hurt. Kinda looks like honey. Less like lava, more like delicious, delicious honey. Th this is dangerous. Can you get out of here? Dude with the bone? I got bigger jelly boys to fry. Speaking of Jelly Boys, any UK viewers, why do you have a candy named Jelly Babies? Who are you people? That's concerning. Why does that exist? Can you not have that? It just feels like when I'm on the rock, there are no consequences. If I don't hit the dismount button, I'm perfectly safe. Okay, whoa, oh, oh, I spoke too soon, maybe. Okay, I see the danger now. I've spotted, see, this is what I'm talking about. Real danger. How? How did we not make that? If SpongeBob didn't skip leg day, we would have missed none of these jumps. Oh, it automatically dismounts. I, I did it too early. All right, here we are. Me to bunga. This smells like boss fight. Or maybe that's just Patrick's loincloth. Huh, where are we going? 
I love all the Mr. Krabs, like just tiny ass crabs. Nope. Stay away from me. I got no money for you. Oh god. Oh, don't push me off. Oh, that's probably hot. Hot or tasty. Maybe it's just hot honey. We have to we gotta fight Pearl, don't we? It feels like she's the leader here. And that's us at this very point in time. Just as the prophecy is foretold. Defeat Pom Pom. Hang on a second. Hold up. It has something to do with that vine. Alright, that's one. We gotta drop the chandelier on her. We gotta do it for the vine. Remember that? Do it for the vine was just uh, an excuse for people to do dumb stuff to post on the internet. Basically everything that TikTok is doing now. Is this supposed to be the big bad boss fight? Is this it? It doesn't feel very big or bad. Alright, here comes the chandelier. That's not what I thought was going to happen. Okay, now she's crying. Oh, watch out for the tears. <laughs> Alright, what's happening here? A little platform. I see we gotta walk up and we gotta hit this tooth. I was, I was talking smack about Pearl, but Pearl's body in me. Like, you don't know where the water's going to be. It's probably best just to run in the opposite direction. Somehow, I managed to dodge it. Get off me! Slow me down like the little Goombas. There's like a hundred enemies. Alright, see it? I see it. I'm getting over there. Come on. Excuse me. Yo, I'm getting jumped. I'm telling SpongeBob to run his pockets. Alright, I guess he don't have any pockets in his, uh, his loincloth. Don't run whatever you got in there. We did it, Squidward. You're saved. That's right. His name is Squag. All right, we go now. Bye. I was kind of liking the prehistoric aesthetic. Squidward's house is clear, and his face remains the same. You can speak normal now. Uh, Squidward, I don't know if you've noticed, but I want you to hear it from me first. Uh, you're still talking like a cave squid. Um, gaga. His brain isn't back yet. Hmm. Looks like Squidward's vocabulary is stuck between the cosmic rifts. Eh, it'll correct itself. Just factory reset him. Here's a new cosmic costume for your next jelly roll. Ooh, what's this one gonna be? Oh, we're a jester. I guess we're going medieval next? I think we only have like two more levels left. Or one level in like a boss fight. But we're coming up to the end of the game now. Right, let's see, travel to the new world. I hope it's better than uh, that game new world. That MMO that was really hyped up and then just died immediately. That happens with way too many games nowadays. Oh God, rainbows, and clouds. I'm having PTSD flashbacks. Go! Oh, I made it! Look, there's even a castle out there in the middle. All right, almost there, right? Right? Say right. I just saw a spider on the wall and oh, yo, I'm crazy. And, and like, it's not even near me and I'm itchy. Why? 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 Who's in there? Splat. Pearl, let us say thank you. Who dareth to a uh, crashes into thy princess's window? Eth. Fear not, my whaley. It is Sir SpongeBob. My whaley. Bottom, here to rescue you with his loyal squire, Patrick. Squire Why did Patrick get a cool Patrick. costume? I thought you were the square one. Unless, have I been SpongeBob all along? Stop it, your child is at shenanigans at. Oh, forget it. Listen, SpongeBob, I'm about to throw the most coral slumber party the sea has ever seen. There's going to be cake and a band and popular girls from all corners of the realm. And they're all coming to celebrate their love for me. They're the only friends with you because you're rich and you're the princess. I'm not going anywhere. Oh, there's this the spider. Might take a little I, I, hang on, I, I got to put him outside. Patrick. I'll be right back. You should call me SpongeBob. Oh, whatever. Bye. <gasps> This is who I've become. I'm a merciful content creator. Me a couple of years ago, oh god! Me a couple of years ago, would have smashed that spider. Not anymore. Oh! You didn't even know that was gonna be there! I didn't even know that was gonna be there! If this wants to be like the whole stage, I think I could take it. I'm talented enough of a platforming god, just to stay humble. Alright, here we go. Oh, uh, this stage is cool. I still think, at least so far, I like the rock bottom stage better. All right, let's find the bubble wand in this maze. I see it. At least, I think that's it. Part of it. Particles, we 
broke the bubble wand. Yeah, it's broken. All right, we're going to get the rest of the pieces. It's a good thing it was only broken in three. A lot of collecting in this game. It's kind of seemed like in most cases with platformers, they don't really know what to do other than be like, all right, collect this thing, collect that thing, and then collect this thing, and then, uh, and then collect that thing. I'm still itchy. There should be an app that can detect a spider within five feet of you. Whose job is it to invent that? And why haven't you done it yet? You're a billionaire waiting to exist. Just tell me every spider that's within five feet. You make a billion dollars. I'm sure Microsoft will write you, write you the check. Or Apple. All right, last piece has got to be over here somewhere. All right, we got it. That's it. Let's put it back together, gang. Oh, here's Squidward. Squidnote. Only those who come bearing invitations may enter. Oh. All right, we got to find a different way in. All right. Ooh, what's this glowing keyhole? Look, Packer. I think there's some animal trapped in this cage. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Maybe it's a giraffe. I feel like now they're kind of just shoehorning in references. They're like, uh, Finland, a giraffe, uh, what else? Okay, so I learned, or I remembered that, uh, the seahorse's name is Mystery. Thank you for that. I don't know why that one escaped me. Oh, it's not? We're not even getting Mystery. We're getting some purple unicorn. Oh, come on. We'll settle for Mystery. I'm gonna catch you. This is what happens when, uh, you find something in your dog's mouth, and you're like, Hey, what's in your mouth? And you start chewing faster. This is what's going on in their brain. Come on. Come on. Keep getting the Krabby Patties. We gotta eat. I like how Mystery is fueled by Krabby Patties. Just gonna have a horrible stomach ache at the end of this. There was like a whole medieval episode, right? It was later on, so I don't think I really caught it. I've seen like part of it. Patrick, look! That old house looks like it belongs to a witch. Maybe the unicorn is hiding behind it. I don't know if that's what this is based on. Or maybe I did see that episode. It's like vaguely familiar. Ow! I think I'm going the right way. I think I have the option to either go left or right. But left is always right. All right. We made it. Who's a good girl? You are. You are. Twitchy the witchy. What is happening? Salutations, yellow knight. And what brings you to my cabin in the woods? Is, uh, is the unicorn Please, in the... Miss witchy. Why are you in I'm there? Sir SpongeBob. You're not supposed to be in there. My balloon buddy Patrick and I followed your handsome pet. Handsome pet to your because delicious stew. Which smells great, by the way. convince it to give it back? Sorry, but if Rainbow finds it, I keep it. However, I might trade it for some of that miraculous Wrinkly's Pro Aging Cream my coven has been buzzing about. <laughs> That's disgusting. They get worse. Can we stop with that now? They say it can wrinkle your skin enough to make you look twice your age. You the last one, it, right? One batch of Wrinkly's Pro Aging Cream coming right up. So it's Pro Aging Cream? It makes you older? And of course, if I miss this jump, I have to make the climb all over again. All right, I gotta get four of these things. How much cream you need, lady? We're gonna fly through. Oh, oh, wrong button, wrong button! That's three. Play a little Frogger now. Get the last one. It's exactly what it is, actually. Just we're playing Frogger. Job done. All right, lady, I'm coming back. It's better last you a while. Doesn't Amazon deliver here or whatever the underwater equivalent of Amazon is? The wrinkling has begun. Now beat it. Don't please don't do another gross up. Oh, thank you, ma'am. But first, we have a wand to repair. Put this piece together and this piece. That's an interesting looking wand. You can leave me alone. Oh, ew, gross. I'll get lost. What a pro. All right, Rainbow, giddy up. You kind of owe us because you, you took the thing. We needed that. Could have avoided all of this. Dude, it's kind of crazy I haven't seen a single other doubloon. Like, not even one. They're pretty good at hiding them. Hear ye, hear ye. Hey, where'd that other guy go? With the most excellent slumber party of all time almost upon us, the princess he almost said among us. He was very calls close. Calls on the kingdom's bards to heed her casting, uh, call. There is space yet for two poets who can earn the approval of her royal party planners. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, Patrick? Definitely. But well, where are we going to find a school bus full of mayonnaise on such short notice? What? 
I feel like this is kind of leading up to a sweet victory finale or something similar. You got a band coming up. We have the costume. You know what? We might as well change. All right, let's switch to our band geeks uniform because we're going to have to play in a band. Bet you can't pop all the balloons around the courtyard faster than me balloon popping champion. Uh, I will try. I have a minute. Will this get me a doubloon? Oh, thank God. We got a fourth doubloon now. New tier unlock. Let's see. Let's go spend some money. So we have action hero. Let's buy that. And we have the ghost. We have deck swabber. And then I I know I just changed costumes, but I got to play with the goofy goober. I'm a goofy goober, yeah. You're a goofy goober, yeah. Why do I always get the nuts? All right. Starting. Don't worry, Squidward, I'm here. But what doesn't one sacrifice for the crown? One's talent, one's pride, one's eardrums. But Gotta listen to a lot of bad music. How do you think record labels feel? All right, what are we doing here? Shield, shield, crown. The crowd is going wild. I'm gonna win Battle of the Bands. Red, yellow, red, yellow. Listen, I'm a child Simon champion. I can't be stopped. I should probably stop talking, though. Is this, this is music, right? Hear ye, hear ye. Regretfully, the yellow sponge and his annoying balloon shall be royal bards at the princess's We did it, most Patrick. We're professional party. musicians now. We get to get into the coveted no boys allowed slumber party. All right, here we go. We'll just fight our way to the, to the entrance. It'll be cool. Sorry, got a slumber party to be at. Can't talk. This is a dream come true for SpongeBob. Oh, I can't see anything. Oh, God. Oh, we're in, Patrick. We did it. We peaked. Follow the mattresses. Man, this is no sleepover I want to be at. So funny sleepover story. When I was, I had to be like 11. One of my friends used to have sleepovers for his birthday every year and hang out and everyone would, all the guys would sleep in his basement. And one year we were sleeping over and he had like a, a six foot hero to feed everybody because there were like 12 of us. So naturally there was a lot of leftover sandwich. So, you know, we're playing pranks. We're 11-year-old boys, middle of the night. One of our friends, we took his shoes. Uh, another one of our friends, we took his pillow earlier in the night, and we soaked it and put it in the freezer. And the entire time, our code word was, and I don't know why he didn't catch on, was go check on the sandwich. So every time we would say go check on the sandwich, we'd just go check on his his frozen pillow. And to this day, me and my friends will just be sitting there and be like, go check on the sandwich. And laughter will ensue. And a lot of you are probably gonna be like, Chuck, that's mean, why would you do that? Well, it was funny. Nothing was off limits at the sleepover. Speaking of which, uh, what's going on in here? You got some, some cosmic jelly enemies here? I'll take care of them. Don't cry, Pearl, we'll fix it. Weird, squishy monsters ruined my slumber party. The waiting staff have all fled. Who will serve my guests their well-earned cake slices? You? I cut a mean cake. You? And oh, if. that is insulting. She is a princess. Don't worry. Patrick and I will serve the epic cake. Let them eat cake. All right, we will serve. What are we doing here? Serve all the guests cake. Oh, okay. Here you go. Does everyone get an entire cake? Uh, hey, lady, I'm busy. Also, you, that window. Excuse me? What the hell is the point of that? Lady, I'm, I'm busy right now. Your timing could not be worse. I'm baking entire cakes in seconds in a brick oven, apparently. You get a cake, and you get a cake. You get a cake. All right, this one is definitely going to get dropped. Come on, come on, come on. Go! Oh, no, get away. Get away here. Take it. Okay, last person. That's all the cake. The slumber party is a success. My slumber party was a success after all. Now let's get out of here. Was that the boss fight? I think that might have been it. Why are we invisible? Was that a glitch? Did you see that? Hopefully, a true bard is here now. Hey, I just baked those. All right, that might be our cue to get out of here. Come on, we're leaving. Squidward, you stay. Best party ever. We did it, Patrick! Everyone is safely back in Bikini Bottom. Now we just need to find the Krusty Krab so I can go to work tomorrow. Oh, that's the final thing we have to find. We have to go find the Krusty Krab this entire time. I'm like, we saved everybody. 
we didn't save SpongeBob's career yet. All right, time to go talk to Cassandra for her to reveal that she's been evil this whole time and we'll pretend to be completely blindsided by it. Watch out, my darling. Your next journey will take you to a place where fun and fear have become one and the same. You'll have to go back to the I'm amusement going to Glove World. Called... Hang on, this might be my favorite yet. This is the end. Where it all began, it will now all end. This is also where they put most of the budget for the uh, animation. Game over. First, I lost Bikini Bottom, and now I've lost my best friend. Loser. Gee, thanks. <laughs> no, I can't lose as long as I keep trying. I'm going to find Patrick, and together we will bring Bikini Bottom back to normal. I got to do this without Patrick now? How am I supposed to go on? Love World is a little more ominous than, uh, than I thought it was, especially when everything's closed. But who's the final boss? It's got to be Cassandra, right? Oh, finally got the Reef Blower. So I guess you could just go back to stages now with it. Oh, damn, this thing is crazy strong. Fill it up. Get, get in the reef blower. Woo! We need this for the final boss, right? Because that'll be cool as hell. This is it. We're going to ascend to the Krusty Krab. We're fighting the final boss in the Krusty Krab, right? It makes sense. Damn it, Glovey. Get away from my friend. He forces me to take best friend's pictures. Don't worry, buddy. Help has arrived. Kick his ass. Just a dude in a suit. I'm your biggest fan of the whole world! Could you please, please, please give me a thumbs up? Anything for a fan. To, to give well, a thumbs up, he has case, to, like, lay on his how side. How letting Patrick go? Mm, no. Ever since you threw Bikini Bottom into outer cosmic chaos, all visitors have vanished from this once beautiful oasis of fun. And with them, their adoration for me! Do you know what becomes of a glove Glovey Glove a is a narcissist! I knew it! I'm gonna go with... G? Stop smothering him! It's time I realized even the best glove can be cold. I won't let that happen to you, Glovey Glove. Oh, I got my ass thrown out. I'm coming back. Don't worry, Patrick. I'm coming back for you. Oh, get in there. Get in there. Die! <laughs> I sniped him. My guy got no scope. Are you going to launch me back, huh? I can get the reef lower again? God, they're making me do everything. I mean, I would do everything to get my homeboy back. Get him! Alright, one more. Oh, damn. Got blown to pieces. Dude, that's crazy. Whatever he's shooting at me right now. This thing has crazy knockback, too. Come on, get him. It's just hard to see your childhood heroes hit rock bottom. Don't worry, Patrick. I have something with me that can cheer up our friend. That's what being a child star does to you. Even better. Glovey Glove grew up in the limelight, and it ruined him. You have a world of friends. You're right. I have a world of friends. They all adore my fixed smile and my haunting This is creepy soul. as hell. Thank you. I don't like it. Uh, Patrick, you're free now. Just, those scissors were a little close. Ever again, Patrick. You're my best friend ever. Okay, we're out of here. We got the Krusty Krab. It's safe. Was Glovey Glove the final boss? That can't be right. All right, let's go talk to Cassandra. She got some splaining to do. I mean, things are mostly back to normal, except for a couple of open portals and still monsters everywhere. It's fine. Residuals. Here you go. Here's the rest of your jelly. Oh, you just absorb it. Okay. <laughs> King Sponge Neptune. Squarepants. This time you took things too far. Well, I didn't well, do anything. His royal highly finally decided to show up. Do you have any idea how much power she'll wield once she has enough jelly? Pretty sure she has enough jelly now. Silence. Uh oh. I am now, now the she's queen slanging of the ocean, it. And with the power of the cosmic jelly, I will. Reshape the seas according to my wishes. <laughs> SpongeBob, I have tolerated your annoying little slip ups for years now, but I, I have, have had, had it. it. Enough is enough. 
Oh, she can hear us, can't she? You're going nowhere, my delicious little rage muffin. You have the My delicious little rage muffin. Oh. He, oh, what the? <laughs> uh, all right. What do we do? We're going to save Bikini Bottom. This is it. I always knew it would come down to Squidward. What do we have? What are we doing? What do we have to do? Probably going to be um a reef blower that spawns in. Oh, here it is. All right, come on, get in, get in. It's for the fate of the universe. We're just Bikini Bottom, really. Her plans aren't really that big. Yeah, you're welcome. Squidward looks kind of badass, actually. They went and turned Squidward into Cthulhu. They made him an eldritch horror. Ow, I hate these sponge dudes. No, not that sponge dude, the evil sponge dude. Okay, I see it, it's over here. Oh, one more. You die! I think it has homing capabilities. This boss fight's actually kind of easy. If it's just like this third attack, there has to be another phase. Gotta be more. Got her. Please don't say that was the entire boss fight. Because that was dope, but I think it might have been. So long, bitch. Squidward, you're saved! And, and Patrick, um, don't know where he went. Squidward, I'm so glad you're back to normal. Yeah, what happened? And why does my mouth taste like jelly? Don't worry about it. Neptune's like, let me just repair these. Your quirky because I am God. The royal God failed to do. You apprehended Madame Cassandra. Of course, you also empowered her to nearly destroy us all. Destroy us all! But that's jelly under the bridge. Par for the course. <laughs> We could all have a good laugh about it. Reward for like this. Ah, 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 ah. So okay, that's my best impression. After today, there's only one thing I could wish for, and that is. Oh, he's back. That was fun. I wish we could do it all over again. Oh crap! You just unlocked New Game Plus, and that's SpongeBob SquarePants: The Cosmic Shake. If you want me to go back and play. Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. I mean, I have one episode that's already kind of cut up. Let me know in the comments section. Or if there's any other SpongeBob games that are worth playing, let me know about them. Be sure to subscribe, and we will see you next time.